Okay guys, it is officially the first day of harvest and currently we have $133,000 worth of debt that we need to pay off and it's November 2nd. And usually you start harvest like, you know, end of September, early October, but it's just been way too wet. So pretty much all of our money is stuck in this yellow stuff, yellow orangish stuff in the field and then brownish stuff over there in that field. That's our soybeans, this is our corn and we need to get harvest in all of this. So we've got two combines, both are John Deere 9770s. We got the Bush Light combine, then we got the just standard 9770, no special wrap. We do have a demo coming out today. We have a Kloss combine, which I've never ran. So the goal is to get half a million dollars in our bank account by the end of the day. Now I've got to get hooked up to the bean headers and get moving over to the field. We've got a bunch of help coming in today. I'm paying them good money. And speaking of help, well, it's expecting to get started combine before this combine showed up, but she already showed up from the dealer. It's it's like Christmas, besides it's a month early. This would be on your Christmas list, a brand new harvester. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I talked to Buck, my brother. He can be a real jack wagon. I was like, hey, could I try out an X9 combine? Like, I'd be looking at buying one next year. And he's just like, show me the money. I'm like, dude, all my money's in my crops. Just look out my front door. That's how farming is. And he wanted me to pay cash for that thing. I was like, come on, can a man just borrow a little bit, you know, like 20% or something? You know what? He was the same way with me when I bought my X9. Well, you got today to basically run this thing, show me how to run it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm here to work on your farm today, so let's get everything knocked out. What are we working on first? <laughs> well, we got a bunch of acres to knock out of beans and corn. So I got the bush light combine. We got the other 9770. I'm going to try and run all three of these combines. Then I got two semis, and I got one grain cart. That's going to be the toughest part is the grain cart. Okay, so we're gonna pull the Kloss Combine around over here, move it out of the way, and then get both the John Deere Combines ready to rock and roll. And actually, we gotta drop the head on this. I forgot about that. So for now, we're gonna drop the 16 row John Deere Fold Corn Head right here. Okay, I'm gonna lift this hitch and we're gonna get Nate connected here. He's gonna back up. There you go, right there. Perfect. This thing's almost out of gas. Oh. Is, is blinking, is blinking, is red at me. You need to learn to refuel your stuff. Yep. Hey, Grant, it's uh, Jake. I was wondering if you needed any help today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, could have you run a grain car or a combine. Up to you. Yeah, either one. Either one. I can run up there right now. Be there in what? Ten minutes? Twenty minutes? Yeah. Can you bring some fuel just real quick, too? Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll get a fuel trailer and bring some up that way. Okay. Just pull it out of my fuel barrel. You got it. Okay, we're getting the third bean head over there, so we're gonna run three combines on beans. And we're pulling it with the truck, and I'm low on fuel in the truck. Pretty much everything's low on fuel. Gotta, gotta keep fuel in these, this equipment here. Okay, we're going back to grab the grain cart now with the 9430T. We're probably gonna need two grain carts for beans. We'll be fine with one. But it wouldn't hurt on corn to get a second grain cart if we have three combined running, especially one with a 16 row corn head. And we're gonna get the semis over there. So we've got two semis, both of them are the same, white Kenworth T800s, and these go good. So we'll get both of them over to the field and we'll be rolling soon on beans. Uncle Buck, you on the CB? Calling all horrible salesmen. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite clientele. <laughs> How may I help you today? Because I am not selling you that combine until I see at least the money. All you gotta do is drive by one of my fields, Buck. All my money's sitting in the fields right now. That doesn't matter. It's sitting in the field, not in your bank account. Gotcha. Well, couldn't a guy borrow a little bit of money now to buy a combine, Buck? I'm not your banker. <laughs> gotcha. I can, You're I the can... one that blew through so much more money in the last 30 years than I would have ever imagined. There's a reason that I split my bank accounts. Okay. So once I get enough money, you'll give me next nine demo is what you're saying. Basically, if you have the funds available to purchase, now it doesn't mean you have to actually purchase in cash. We need to know you have the funds on hand, so we're not giving oh. it to somebody that does not financially support, like, does not financially qualify to get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real fast. I, I know, Buck, you're enjoying complaining at him, but uh, can I just say um, I'm out of gas? I mean, I'm out of diesel? I'll get you a tank. Hold up, Nate. That sounds like it's time for me to shine. <laughs> Guess who's here? <laughs> I see you run across <laughs> the field. <laughs> oh. Yeah, ignore the little bit of corn I drove over. Okay, Jake's a fuel guy showing up. He's got his Bronco here. The reason he's pulling a fuel trailer behind it is because he needs a tax write off. So, it's a good reason. Okay, we are going to get the Kloss Combine hooked up to the 50 foot John Deere bean head, Draper, or bean head. People call them all different things. We're going to get her lined up and hooked up. You know, 
There's something off about that. But I just can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> okay, we got the crew prepared for this field. That took about half a day to get everything moved, but we got it moved, fueled up, ready to go. We're just waiting for Uncle Buck, and we'll be ready. So we need to be the most efficient operation today because we're trying to make half a million dollars in a day. And currently, I'm down 133000 So that means every turn, every thought process, every unloading has to be super efficient. Okay, boys, efficiency is the name of the game. We have officially started Harvest 2023. So you'd be mad if I took a hard right turn right now? Yes. Sorry, left turn. So how full are you, boys? Want to play a game, see who's, who's the most full? It's probably me. 20%. That's definitely you. Oh, hold on, Grant, what's yours? 20%. Oh, eight? 23. I'm 15. Mm -hmm. I have a smaller header though, so I don't take in as much crop. Bucky on the CB? Yeah, we're figuring it out, trying to get my notepads ready to go for numbers. Okay, stay really calm, and then we're going to call on you, and you got to rush like crazy, get us all unloaded. That's how it's going to be. We're going to be all Run full like at the same time. Run like crazy and don't stay calm. Got it. Nate, you remember this area? Yep, yep, yep. I threw a grain cart in the water right there. Great times. Okay, so currently we are going around. You just see a blob of a bunch of different colors, but we're going around the high yield spot where it's 120% yield across here. Eventually we're going to get into like 85, 90% yield, but this is definitely the best yielding spot. There we go. Okay, I'm full. I'm Go getting ahead. there. I'm getting there. Hurry it up, Bucky. I'm trying, to, I'm trying not to cut over the crops. There we go. We got Jake going by. He's going to clear the path, and then Buck's going to be able to go right behind him. It's going to work good. This is how we're doing it. Oh, yeah. I like it. It might not go straight like you wanted it, but we'll it's all see. Good. Go to the right a little bit, Jake. Basically, you're going to align with that path right there. You see how it, like... You want me to lead in the path, or were you no, leading it No, no. Like, your auger is going to... No. I'm going to get cut off, like, three-quarters of the way up here, if that makes sense. So, go right. Aim right a little bit. Aiming right. Go there you go. Right, go left. Yep. Now go pretty much straight. And you're, yeah. Sure. I think you got it. Okay, we are rolling. Nate is going with the 45 foot head unload. And Jake got, just got unloaded. And Buck is somehow able to keep up with us on beans. I don't know if he's going to be able to keep up with us on corn. But we'll see. No, absolutely not on corn. I guarantee you that much. Okay, we got rental main. Should be unloading here soon. Soon. We got the we got the duck back the waddle. Come on, Yay. we're in the main. Oh, world's most expensive game hey. of chicken. Yeah, I was gonna say you boys is playing chicken right now. Nate, did you not think about this when you made your pass? You didn't. You didn't think about this. I was halfway through. I'm not stopping. I hope you know that. I'm going to crash into you. Well, this well, is you your combine, your combine, and that's it's... my combine. So. I'm not scared. Okay, 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 okay. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. <laughs> I'm stopping. We're good. We're good. What'd you stop for? Man? You should have kept going. You're going to be about topped off. You got 35,000, 36,000. I think I know what else is going to be topped off. My air filter. Yeah. Um, I thought well, I could get that I'm on the spilling, I Buck. I, Come on. Get over here. I, I thought that you were going to, but there we go. Now I'm full. Hey, Buck, how full are those semis? Uh... The one truck still got like the entire back hopper that is empty, and then we're we're completely fine. We'll make okay. this entire field. Perfect. Okay, oh, so oh, we oh. are full, and we are gonna dump on the oh, semis oh. quick. Buck's already going down to the next farm, and, and to save time and efficiency, we're just gonna drive these headers with the combine on. We're pretty much going down gravel roads. Is it illegal? I sure hope that Maybe, but it's farm equipment. It's harvest season. We should be fine. Okay, we are empty. We are gonna head down the road as a convoy. And we just gotta go on the other side of the farm, pretty much. It's it's not that far. We should be fine. Just watch out for signs. Out a sign. <laughs> 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 Holy crap, guys! Okay, we should be good. Okay, boys, let's go. Let's be quick about this. Yeah, we don't just, wanna get in trouble. Yeah, just go real quick. Okay, what do we do if we see a car? Just stop. Uh, tell them to back up. Okay, I gotta dodge these power poles real quick. Yeah. Around. yeah, we can just pull in the grass right here. Look, it's it's perfectly fine. Um, Nate, take a right. right. Coming up soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, son, right, of right. No, no, no. son of a gun. No, son no, of a gun. No, no, no. Yep. I'm okay, on the grass. Go. I'm not in the road. See? Yep, yeah, I'm in my field. I'm good. He doesn't have his lights on yet. I mean, we're technically... Okay, never mind. Uh... Never mind. Uh, Nate, just stop. Just stop. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Sir, I gotta ask you, what on earth do you think you're doing out here with these big pieces of machinery? These things are supposed to be on trailers, don't you? Who's the man of the operation? Hey, it's me. It's me. It's me. 
Okay, okay. Uh, so, what we're doing, we just gotta move like a half mile down the road. That's it. That's, that's it. We're, we're trying to feed the world, you know, trying to move it as efficient as possible. And we're doing it with courtesy. I mean, there's a car that came around us. We got around that car just fine. Everybody worked out good. Let me ask you this, Sheriff. Do you know that, that TikTok of the kid who really likes corn? Do you like that TikTok? Do I look like I'm a dummy to you? Do, you Do like I look corn? like I'm here to play? Do I look like that I just am stupid? Do I look I'm stupid? Okay, okay, okay. No, sure. It won't, it won't, it won't happen again. Kind of have dumb I don't care if it don't happen again. It better not happen again because you're also getting slammed with a fine. I suppose you're the man of the operation on this. Well, you're endangering the public. Hey, mate, I don't like it. I get it. Boss. It's farmer's season. It's it's t it's busy time. You guys are trying to be careful. But you can't be driving around with a 50-foot wide header on the highway. If you got a trailer, we need you to have it on there, all right? Okay, so, so just to clarify, I can't do this. Sir, I'm going to need you to get out of the implement right now. No, I no, will just apprehend. a visual demonstration no, out. so no. everyone understands. Sir, get, get this out. is what you're sir, talking about. This sir, is what you're saying sir, you can't do, right? The... This right here. Sir, I'm going to need you to concern. get in the back of my squad car. Sir, I... come out with your hands up. We're going to You're going to sit in the back that, of my car. I need you to join. You'll be responsible for that. Sir, I need you out of the... I need you out of the out of the combine. I'll park I need you it. out of the combine. I'll no, park I need you out of the combine and need you to follow me to my cruiser. Uh, you won't. You can't figure it out. You ain't got the upper core body strength to get that ladder, boy. I know you. Oh, he got the ladder. Okay, sheriff. Okay. So one minute with you. I gotta apprehend this person because he is not. You, sir, I asked you to stop. You didn't stop. You didn't move. I'm gonna need you to follow me to my cruiser. We're gonna have a little bit of a ride. You never We're gonna said take you downtown. Simon says. Do I look like I'm a jokester to you? It, I take Simon Says very seriously. I need you to go to the back of my cruiser right now. Okay, so you two, you seem a little bit more understanding. So one thing mm -hmm. that I'm going to do is I'm still going to hit you with the fine. The problem is, is that there were three of you doing this, so somebody could have said, hey, we shouldn't have done this, and by, do you have trailers for these things? Do, do. you have a trailer? Then that, okay. I'll cut you a little bit of slack for that. I want these things on the trailers. You bring them here. We can get you some block off cones, something that can get these on the trailers. I do not want these pieces of equipment moving until we get those things on the trailers so they are safely attached and we can move these things properly. How much ticket? Well, the fact you had three of them on the road there, we'll call about a thousand dollar ticket. Okay, deal. Okay, so Jake got away from the sheriff. It's fine, we're good. Nate took off through the grass waterway and I'm doing things the right way. Hey Grant, you still on the radio? Yeah, I'm slowly coming with the header. Okay. Me and Jake's already out. Me and J well, Jake's dipped. Now, I'm out here in the field harvesting. Perfect. I, I gotta go back and get the combine yet. Guys, the sheriff's here again. I uh, know. Get rid of him. Hold on. I'll talk to him. I don't think he's too happy with us. Yeah, I might just scrape my header on his car. <laughs> Sheriff, how you doing? Long time no see. I don't know what I might have to do to get you guys to understand this, to understand the law. I told you not to bring these things on the road, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you your, your thanks. You're not the one that's in trouble. It's that fellow right there. Yeah, and I'm responsible and for him. I know. Other one. I know. Well, they're both gonna have to come with me. Sheriff, I can't do that. I need to get the beans harvested. That's not, not that. my problem. If you're going to be hiring people that are not going to be doing their job safely, securely, and most importantly, if you want efficiency, you got to do it the right way. I got a $50 Applebee's gift card. Will that do? Do I look stupid to you? A little bit. So you really want to go down to the station yourself? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just messing with you. Good old Sheriff T. Come on. Let's see. What else can we do? What else can we do? Those guys, they need to stay here. They're not staying here. Give them boss donuts. Donuts? Couple donuts? No. They're coming with me. Okay, Nate, Jake, you guys gotta go down to the sheriff's office just for a little bit. That is not happening. I got work I gotta do today. I know, I know. Just, I'll give you a bonus or something for going to jail. Jake, you want to? <laughs> you guys, just just go down with him. Nice guy. Just, I'll pick you up tonight. Is Jake even in his combine or is he running? I think he's running. Sheriff, we got one coming with you. I need two. There's two. Well, one of them ran. Well, that's obvious. Nate, jump in. I'll take over. I'll come pick you up tonight. You better. I'll pick you up. I'll give you a bonus, too, for doing things the right way. Okay, I was about to try and figure out where Jake went, and I honestly had no idea where he went. Since the sheriff left, he was hiding in the corn, and Jake is back combining. <laughs> so, really, we're going to be good. Now, we got to go pick up Nate from the sheriff's office tonight, but me and Jake can keep combining. Oh, this worked out great. Besides for Nate going to jail. Hey, Grant, you got your ears on? Yeah. Where were you hiding? <laughs> 
it's a long story. You sure you want it? I ran off into the uh, the corn, found your garage, borrowed your car real quick, went and got my Jeep, brought the Jeep down here to fill up the combine, and now I'm combining again. Hey, if that sheriff is after me, I I'll have it be known that when I got in that combine, it was on private property, and I kept it on private property most of the time. Now, ignore the fact that I was kind of, sort of, in custody and I ran away. But, you know. <laughs> it worked. We're good. Okay, so we got most of our harvest done. Soybean harvest. We're going to pick up Nate now. Sheriff's going to let him go. Hop in, Nate. You got yourself a real fine piece of work there, sir. I will drive, drive, drive. A man insulted his meatballs. Sheriff, Let's go. Let's go. Appreciate it. I'll let you know if I see Jake. Drive, drive, drive. I may have insulted his meatballs. Okay, boys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this harvest video. We didn't get as much done as we thought. We didn't make as much money as we thought. And we lost a guy for a couple hours to the jail. But anyways, thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you in the next harvest video.